There's a family secret that was uncovered not too long ago. It turns out that my biological father was a black man who disappeared when he learned that my mother was pregnant with me. I held on to the pain of that discovery for a long time, but I was also curious to know more about him, who he was, and why he made the decisions that he made. But without any information about his identity or my father's whereabouts, the only way to come to terms with my feelings was to examine them through photography. For a long time I hadn't really dealt with that issue on a personal level, and so I thought to uh, explore this photographically and seek, seek out fathers that would uh, help me in the process of getting to a place of forgiveness towards my own father and also forgiveness towards the father that I actually had growing up who I also had a very troubled relationship with. I realized that to get the kinds of intimate images that I wanted from the fathers, I had to push myself harder and really dig a little deeper. Uh, that meant finding a way to spend more time with them, follow them over a longer period of time, and sometimes even going out and living with them to really get to a level of intimacy and trust that I can establish with the subjects. Darrell Willis and his son Fidel, they're a father-son dyad that I met probably sometime in September, October of 2012. Fidel, um, they live on the Lower East Side and um, it's been a very fruitful interaction. Is he still doing his martial arts? Even down yeah. There? No, 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 I just put it on pause. He don't do it when he comes back. Okay. Okay, so let me know when that is so I can take some pictures. Oh, yeah, so, no problem. Um... So, hopefully, my relationship with my son be better than the relationship with me and my father was. I'm not saying that I wish it was bad, because I just hope to do everything a little bit better. You know, try to be better father. And I hope that my son be a better father to his son than I was to him. Over the course of the last year and a half, two years, I've been back with the Miller family um, quite regularly. They live in the Bronx and, uh, um, you know, uh, it's, it's been a situation of me spending many, many weekends whenever I have free time and can come to New York with them. And uh, I think I have probably the most comprehensive set of pictures from that family. So I think that relationship is something that will probably continue beyond this project and survive for the rest of my life. I was in front of the Harlem Hospital and he was just standing there and then he was looking at me so he came up to me he said is that your baby and I said yeah he said is that his father I said yeah he said can I take a picture of him I said yeah and from then on we you know he's been around Time is, China, sit down. You, can't, you can't let that go. You can't let that pass you by. That's all we really got is memory and time. And our time always come to an end. Memory is always there, no matter what. The feeling that I have when I witness the moments that I'm after, which are very subtle, fatherly interactions that are loving, affectionate. They don't have to be grand gestures. It can be a smile, it can be a loving glance. These are all moments that are fulfilling to witness, but at the same time very tough for me as well because these are exactly the moments that I never had as a child. When I know I'm having these feelings, I know that's really the moments that I need to photograph. So I'm using the energy of uh, whatever feelings I'm experiencing to fuel when I press my shutter. So I know when there's a 
bit of anguish or a little, a little bit of pain that I experienced while witnessing it that I'm onto something and I need to explore that further.